the government has confused the entire nation by untimely introducing the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution. The government says, we are sorry, we forget to amend the Article 83B by the 19th Amendment, so we are bringing the 22nd Amendment to correct that mistake. This is an utter lie. Why do we claim so? The term of president has already been reduced from six to five years by amending Article 30, Sub-Article 2 by 19th Amendment. Therefore, with or without the 22nd Amendment, term of, of the president has already been reduced to five years. It has been confirmed by the Supreme Court several times by now. On the other hand, drafters of the 19th Amendment deliberately avoided amending Article 83B in order to avoid going for a referendum. Article 83 is a very important article in our constitution. It has introduced the, there are several core articles of, of the constitution which determines the character of the state. Those articles are core characteristics such as unitary nature of the state, national anthem and national flag are such articles. So, in order to amend, according to Article 83, in order to amend these articles, we need a people's approval at a referendum in addition to two-third majority in parliament. Since this is the most important article in our constitution, constitution further says amending Article 83 itself also requires people's approval at a referendum. Now, government is in an attempt to pass the 22nd Amendment, avoiding a referendum without seeking the people's approval at a referendum. Therefore, we have planned to challenge the 22nd Amendment before the Supreme Court to get a determination requiring a people's approval at a referendum, in addition to the two-third majority in parliament. Similarly, we will do whatever possible to ensure the defeat of 22nd Amendment in Parliament. In order to pass this, government requires two-third majority. It means the support of 150 parliamentarians. Right now, government is having around 120 parliamentarians. Therefore, without the support of around 30 parliamentarians from the opposition, government has no capacity to get this approved. Therefore, we urge every single parliamentarian to join hands with us to defeat the 22nd Amendment in the sake of democracy. Some may question why we should be fearing of the 22nd Amendment because prima facie, it's an innocent amendment. It only attempts to change the words beyond six years to beyond five years. So why should we be in fear of that uh, amendment? In fact, we have bitter experience in the past where bills have been changed after passing by parliament before placing the signature of the speaker. So we are in genuine fear that anything could be introduced to the constitution after passing in parliament with two-third majority, but before speaker's signature to the bill. Hence, we urge all patriotic parliamentarians to join hands with us to defeat the 22nd Amendment in Parliament.